Capture One has two options for exporting, either via the export option in the file menu, or via process recipes in the output tool tab. Exporting from the file menu is useful for quick access to an export option, but defining process recipes will provide long-term benefits for an efficient workflow. To export, start by selecting a collection of images. Choose File, then Export Images and Variants. A variant is the original file with any adjustments that have been applied. To export the original RAW file, choose Export Originals. Under Location, first choose where to store the exported files. The subfolder field can either be used to manually create a folder simply by entering a name or automating it with a token. A token extracts some kind of metadata from the image and uses that to automate folder creation. Location subfolder tokens can be selected by clicking here. There is a varied and extensive list of tokens, but the choice can be narrowed down by choosing different groups. Further subfolders can be created by using the backslash or forward slash delimiter. This will export the images into the final folder in the path. Under Naming, decide if you wish to rename the exported files. New naming formats can be defined by clicking here and again used with tokens. The next section, Recipe, contains all the settings to create the output format. The first tab, Basic, is where the file format and scaling is set. The remaining tabs allow further control of the final destination, output sharpening, cropping and metadata. Click on Export to start the processing. The Activity Monitor will start, showing an approximate amount of time remaining for the export. To export images in multiple formats at once, it is far more efficient to design appropriate process recipes to do so. Defining recipes is carried out in the Output Tool tab. The Process Recipes tool shows an overview of what recipes have been defined and if they are enabled or not, as indicated by the checkbox. The Process Recipe tool shows an overview of the currently selected recipe. To define a custom recipe, click on the plus icon in the Process Recipes tool and name your new recipe. Then define the parameters for the recipe in the Process Recipe tool. In the Basic tab, set the criteria for the file format and dimensions. The other tabs contain similar options to the Quick Exporter dialog seen earlier, but with additional options, for example, watermarking. The File tab has some important options. The Root folder describes where by default the files will be saved. You can see in this example that it is designated as Output Location. This means that the location is set in the Output Location tool. Choosing Image Folder places outputs in the same location as the designated images for exports. This is convenient if you want to keep raw files and process files adjacent to each other. Choose Select Folder for any other location. This is convenient to define process recipes that always export to this defined location. This is convenient for sending to cloud storage, for example. The subname field can append any file name with basic text or through the use of a token. Click here to choose one or more tokens. Tokens can also be used here to define further subfolders. The same rules apply from the simple export dialog. Use simple text, the slash delimiters and tokens. New for Capture 110 is extensive control over sharpening for output found in the Adjustments tab. The Sharpening drop-down menu allows extensive control for output sharpening. The settings in the Output Location tool are used if Output Location is set as the root folder in the Process Recipe tool as described earlier. Again, subfolders can be created in the same way with tokens, text or a combination of both. Output naming is set here. Use tokens once more to rename images on output. Use the image name token to retain the raw file name. To process, select a collection of images and decide what process recipes you want to use by enabling their checkboxes. The process summary tool describes the currently selected recipe and if you have additional recipes selected as well. Then simply click on the process button. 
Each thumbnail in the browser will show an orange cog icon while it is being processed and a white cog icon when the processing is completed for that particular image. The status of the processing can be seen at any time in the Batch tool in the Batch Tool tab. Finally, a quick look in the Finder shows how our exports show with the automatically created folders as part of the recipe.